Horizon is a awesome Laurel package which help you to manage your queues and jobs and it, it has a beautiful dashboard which you can see how much uh, jobs is running and how much fails, how much runs pending and other things. Now let me show you in this video uh, how we use it in Codebee Pals and also how we use it in other projects. You can also configure it for yourself in any projects and I will just talk about the basics. So this video should be quick and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like, if you interested. Okay, let's go. Uh, uh, so I'm in the code review pals and uh, installing Horizon. First, we want first go to Laura documents document, and uh, as you can see in here on the packages, there is a Horizon package in here. There's a documentation. Uh, it's completed, and we don't need anything else, but. Uh, I will go through this document and let me show you how we configure in our application. So first we need to install the prison. Uh, so just I'm using the save composer require Laravel horizon and everything is ready in my project. Then we must do publish some configs and install the horizon uh, in here. So after this, Okay, we just need to use the Sail Artisan Horizon install and everything is ready here. So, uh, you may see some files add to your project. Uh, one of the files is Horizon on the config file, a config folder. And this is the basic config of the Horizon and it's good to see. And we will check this about the... We have just something about this default and supervisor in here. If you are using on production and local and everything else, you can config the things in here. Uh, the important things is about the production, which we use this. Uh, but for now, just we are changing something on defaults. And I will show you there. Uh, but before using the horizon, we must to put a change our current connection to Q connection to Redis. As you may see in here on the previous video, we did it on the database and here we must to change it to Redis. And after you change it to Redis, you must to configure your Redis host and password and port and other things. Uh, I'm using here a Docker, as you may see in the Could be Pals project. Also on production, we have a pla pass, a platform as a service. We are using that and there is a uh, Redis there which we can connect to that Redis. And here we are just using our cache, sending our uh, queues to Redis and the Horizon will watch our queues and run them and it gives us good data. So uh, how we can run it? Before running any commands here uh, for running Horizon, you must to go on localhost uh, and reason address and as you can see in here there is some jobs and activities and other things but this status is inactive and if you see I have some completed job but not for now and it's the failed job and other things in here but let me activate this horizon uh, for activating horizon we just need to run artisan horizon and everything will be fine in here so as you can see we are using the queue default in here and the process will really be changed why this is changed it's because of the on the config as you can see uh, we are using balance auto and this balance auto will be balance our processes between the super multiple supervisor wizard and this will change this process and if you have a lot of jobs in a queue it will increase the process and manage by itself so we don't need to change a lot this horizon but if you have multiple uh, queues uh, like we in a, a 
project, we had a lot of queues and a lot of jobs fired on two queues. And one queue was about making another jobs, making some jobs for another queue. And uh, we had uh, a slow queue and fast. And in Horizon, we just separate them by each other. And it helps us to uh, give more process to fastest uh, queue to run faster and do more jobs and slower do some more do some less and how we can do this in here as you can see we have some super wizard also on production and local we have the things but i will change this default if your environment was the production this will be run in here uh, but here on super wizard i can make another super wizard here and we can change the queues in here uh, the queue name in here which will which supervisor will run which queues here so we have defaults in code review files we don't have too much queues uh, but you can check you can define uh, which queue which job in run in which queue on the job let me find the job in the is, this is a job we just need to public you let me see yes this is and just name it something like uh, discord it's the job of the discord and here I can just run the this discord in here don't forget to uh, it's running like this restart the horizon oh uh, if you change any code on your jobs you need to change you need to restart the horizon uh, in your local others it will not run and as you can see we have a discord and the default in here and if the discord uh, jobs increases the process will be increases in here uh, but there is some also limitations like how max process we have and other things that you can see in here so just one more step uh, we are using horizon also in production uh, with uh, as you, let me show you there's a horizon in here could we pals horizon and you see the forbidden in here because i'm not logged in and uh, if i log in by my account in here okay so i can see the horizon in here and everything will be fine but how to prevent other users to access this horizon because we don't want to we don't want them to access this uh, there is an ability on horizon service provider which you can see in here on the gates uh, in this gate as you can see uh, there is a user and in email we in array which will check uh, which user can access to the horizon by default it's empty uh, so how we config this uh, we made on the horizon in here uh, make some make an array called admins and put the admins email in here which my email is this and here we can instead of the empty array uh, called uh, horizon horizon uh, want to make mistake and admins it's in here and by default we have a empty array in here uh, so this little bit code will prevent uh, other user to access the horizon and just the admins we define will be accessed here also you can put a uh, complex logic here like if your system has a rule uh, rule and permissions you can check in here uh, it, uh, it's a gate and hopefully we could talk about the gates and uh, policies in future in some video okay so let's check some features of the horizon on the uh, horizon dashboard 
as you can see I have a lot of failed job in the code repels and in here on the failed job we can see what they happened and uh, what's the error in here so there is some error and if you fix the error and push the codes you just need to retry this and it will be run another time and all, everything will be fine and the things okay thank you for watching i try to explain how we use horizon on code pals and some examples uh, so if you interested in this kind of video please like and subscribe to the channel and in the next video i see you we want to talk more about the queue and the jobs so goodbye